And we're back with some more swooning over stands, a grunkle dating simulator. Oh, that was the perfect transition. Yeah. I kind of wish I would have done that at the end of the last episode. But no matter. Uh, Just as you finish speaking, Stan pulls off to the side of the road and the engine dies. As you step out of the car, the unearthly silence of the woods envelops the two of you. Out in the woods ahead, you see a single bright light. Is this the place? Uh, Just about. You follow him back towards the truck, which he o- trunk, which he opens quietly and slowly, frowning as it squeaks. Squeaky, squeaky. <laughs> that's the that's the only squeaking sound effect I'm going to use from now on in you anything I make. <clears throat> I'm just going to let you know. That sounds good to me. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Uh, well, uh, you might not guess it looking at me, but I gotta, I gotta. A thing. I, I don't like the way you're saying that, Stan. It's not a thing like Drake, is it? Because Travis was just telling me about that. <laughs> uh. The two of you stare at each other for a moment, and he looks at you a little nervous. I guess we know where <laughs> we know where Dipper gets it from. He's sweating. Why are you sweating, Uncle Stan? I got a thing for art. Oh, what kind of art? Uh... Oh, is that all? That's pretty cool. Right? Yeah, that sounds pretty reasonable. Yeah, that sounds pretty reasonable. Because we're like, like, really, I do too? It's like... That's like like mirroring too, mirroring too hard. It's like, oh, it's being a little weird. Like, like being a little weird. Really, yeah. You yeah. really... But being supportive <clears throat> is, I think, the right way to go. He brightens, smiling in the dim haze of the trunk light. And it was the right way to go. Yep. Good detective skills. Mm. Minors in psychology. Where yeah. it's at. Yeah. Well, let's jump up the hill. <clears throat> Here has one by this artist, uh, Gustav Cloning. Wait. <clears throat> Wait a moment. Gustav Cl- Clowning? It, it, Gustav Clowning. <clears throat> Snuck it from right out under me at an auction. <coughs> Gosh, Grunkle Stan's voice is like the worst. I've been trying to buy it off him for years, but a jerk won't sell no matter how much I offer him. And trust me, you meet this guy, and you know it's out of spite. So we're stealing it? <laughs> what are you talking about? You got it, kid. <laughs> uh, well, you did try and buy it first. Or frankly, I'm surprised you haven't done this sooner. Hmm. <clears throat> well, you did try to buy it first. Exactly. Stan laughs quietly, fishing around in the duffel bag for you don't know what. Wait till you steal it. <laughs> Wait till you steal it. it. Steal it. There we go. Wait till you see it. It's a, it's a masterpiece. I've been waiting six months for him to go, go out of town. How do you know this man's schedule? Grunkle Here, Stan? take these. Okay. <laughs> he pulls a pair of gloves from the bag, handing them to you. When you slide them off, they fit almost perfectly. You can say slide them off. You can slide them on. Yeah. After you slid them on, you slide them off. You need to check how it fits, Oh, Travis. point taken. Just yeah. like a variety of other things that you slide on and off. Yeah, Travis. I <laughs> don't know what you're talking <clears throat> about. We're just going to keep going. Uh, I guess your size right. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you see my quirk or semblance or stan or whatever kind of power <laughs> manifestation you want to call it is to always guess people's hand measurements correctly. What are you talking about? (laughs) That's just really smart. You nod, wiggling your fingers. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Stan chuckles, (laughs) pulling out a pair of his own, a set of black leather driving gloves with a silver snap closures that glint in the light from the trunk. So, uh, you ready, kid? You bet. Stan tucks a few things into the inner pockets of his jacket that you can't see in the low light. And with the trunk shut as quietly as it was opened, you followed him into the woods towards the distant light. As you near it, a porch takes shape within the light's glow. Behind it, the dark shape of a house sits in the even darker woods. Stan leads you past the front porch and around the corner of the house to a set of stairs that appears to lead into the basement. Ah, this is my favorite part. He withdraws a small black shape from his pocket and something that looks like it might be a pin. 
The pen-shaped thing turns around to be a small, turns out to be a small flashlight, and he holds it in his teeth as he opens the black case to reveal a set of lock-picking tools. I figured, knowing Stan, he would just use a hammer. <clears throat> well, you don't know what the tools are. It could just be two twin hammers. <laughs> bang, 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 <laughs> bang, bang. Ah, you're a lucky person, kid. You get to see the artist in action. I get to see Gustav <clears throat> Clowning in action. Clowning, right. He gets to work. That's it's, a weird name. It by is. The way. I think it's German. Yeah. Yeah. Vaguely. Vaguely German. German yeah. enough. <clears throat> he gets to work, inserting one tool in and wiggling it down the <clears throat> bottom of the keyhole, then pulling out another and poking at the innards of the lock with it. We're, we're you glance good. around in the darkness as he works, <clears throat> half expecting to get caught before you get anywhere, but then the lock clicks and Stan stands. Stan stands. Stan yeah. stands stands before him. Uh, Say that three times fast. Nope. <laughs> Opening the door no for time you for it. with a flourish. That was that was so cool. <laughs> he beams with pride. You smile politely as you step through the door in front of him. The basement is unlit. It smells like <clears throat> dust and mildew. The air is sour with wet dirt and mold. Stan moves past you in the dark. His little pin flashlight still lit and leads you through a cobwebby laundry room and towards a door across from the bottom of a set of rickety wooden stairs. Wait till you see this, kid. <clears throat> he picks the lock of this door just as quickly as he picked the last, and the door creaks open into a dark room with an odd flooring barely lit by Stan's flashlight. Stan goes first, and as you follow him in, he hits a light switch, revealing a beautifully designed gallery with plush scarlet carpets and gleaming wood paneling full of paintings of <clears throat> sad clowns. Oh, God. Gustav clowning, of course. Jeez. I don't... I don't... Oh my, I don't want really? this. <clears throat> Stan looks more oh excited God. than you've seen him yet. His arms crossed over his chest and a warm smile on his face. Uh, Stan, there's something I've been wanting to tell you the whole time. Yeah, what is it, kid? I think we we should just be friends. <laughs> <laughs> End. Finn. Yep. This is over. Playthrough over. Yep. Knocking over the mic. Not yep. doing that. It's an expensive mic. I don't like this one in particular. I, uh, I don't like, like it blood. because it looks like the clown is missing an eye. And bleeding. And bleeding blue blood. I don't... <laughs> You know, I don't know who's weirder, Stan or the guy who's actually collecting all these. Why does he have so many <clears throat> sad clown paintings? Yeah. Stan doesn't collect a bunch of them. He just wants the really good one. Right. Uh, can you believe that hillbilly chump has a collection like this? I. <clears throat> you shake your head slowly, still looking around the room with wide eyes. You can't believe anyone has a collection like this. <laughs> Someday, all of these are going to be mine. Come on. I'll show you the one we're here to get. I would have brought a bigger <clears throat> bag if I knew we were stealing more than one painting. Right. You follow him to the back of the room, and he stops in front of a large painting of a clown with bright red lips and blue circles on his cheeks. His eyes outlined in black, with comically large eyelashes painted onto his eyelids. His neck roof droops sadly, and his costume is dingy and worn. So, uh, what'd you think? <clears throat> Uh, mm, mm. Mirror? I'm thinking mirror. Well, let's mirror this, because, you yeah. know, it's beautiful to him, so it's not like we're lying. Right. Wait, you really like this kind of thing? No kidding? <clears throat> I can appreciate the artistic talent of it, yes. Stan's voice is edged with hope. They're all beautifully done. That's a good response. Yep. It's nice to meet somebody who really appreciates these like I do. You got it, Stan. <laughs> I hope we don't get quizzed on this later. Oh, God. Like, imagine in, like, two or three months we're getting near the finale, and it's like, well, now I just need to give you a quiz about all of our time together. <laughs> it's like, uh, do you do you like clown paintings? And we're like, oh, God, no, get us out of here. Fuck, gross. <clears throat> yeah. It's, it's excellent, especially as a piece of art. <laughs> yes. Well, why not? This is a masterpiece. The way the artist has captured his pain... The way the framing makes him look small and pitiful, even though he takes up most of the canvas. The juxtaposition of the inherent joy of clowning and the anguish this man clearly feels is what makes this kind of painting really special. 
I pulled that straight out of my butt. As planned. Well, uh, let's get this thing off the wall and out of here. As he works to get to the clowning down off the wall, you wander the room looking at the other paintings. As you look over a portrait of a mime with dirt <clears throat> on his white and black striped shirt, you're suddenly grabbed by your shoulders. Boom! <laughs> you scream, eyes shut in fear as you throw a weak karate <laughs> chop at the source of the noise, eh, <laughs> making unimpressive content with something solid and muscular. <laughs> After a moment's panic, you <clears throat> squeeze whatever the thing is. Oh my gosh. With your hands and open your eyes, finding... I'm getting uncomfortably squeezed here. Ha! Was that supposed to hurt me? <clears throat> yes. Stan's arm and shoulder. Boy, he's... He's really packing some heat in there. Wow. He laughs, laughs, apparently very pleased with himself for scaring the absolute life out of you. You need those boxing tips even more than I thought. You couldn't defend yourself from a fly with moves like that. You laugh shakily. <laughs> and then you realize you're still feeling up Stan's arm. Uh, <clears throat> sorry about that. You pull your hands away a bit too fast, and he chuckles, <laughs> blushing all the way up to his ears. Uh, uh, no problem, kid. <laughs> Kawaii Pines <clears throat> is back. Yeah. <laughs> About time. He clears his throat, and the silence between you begins to grow awkward before it's interrupted. Upstairs, in what is supposed to be an empty house, you hear footsteps crossing towards the door to the basement. Uh Uh-oh. Stan apparently hears them too, a sudden series of expressions crossing his face from shock to confusion to terror, finally settling on indignation. And we'll have to find out what those are about in the next episode, because cliffhangers rock. I want to know, though. So, hopefully you all join us to resolve this cliffhanger. Because remember, every video is a party, and you're all invited to the next one. See you next time.